that under there? Uh, yes, it's our, uh, luggage. We've traveled a long way to find a tiger. <gasps> They're not tiger fans. They're tiger hunters. They want to catch a tiger, not spot one. <gasps> Our jobs will have to wait, Shekhar. We have to protect the tigers. Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Raji! Raji! Oh, thanks for stopping. I didn't stop for you. There's a tree blocking the track. I know what you're doing. You don't want me to spot a tiger before you. Actually, I already have spotted a tiger. <gasps> but that's not what I wanted to tell you. I quickly told Rajiv about the cage and the tiger hunters. The tigers are rare and endangered. We have to protect them, Rajiv. Oh, Thomas, you are so right. But there's a problem. I promised I'd lead those men to a tiger, and they won't leave until I have. Just keep going around in circles and leave the rest to me. Ooh, come on, then. Show us a tiger. So, what's the plan? So, the plan is... Recognize that tree. We're just going around in circles. Come on, Thomas, where are you? There it is. It's going to be a beauty. And it's all ours. Yes, all ours. Huh? You mean me? Hey! What's going on? We've got a tiger to catch. Spot. Uh, I mean, spot. Tiger hunting is not allowed. <gasps> Uh-oh. Let's get out of here. You're not going anywhere. <gasps> this is an outrage. Now, I'm afraid there's been a terrible misunderstanding. Yes. I was actually... I am very I impressed know. with your clever and brave actions to save our tigers. Oh, it's all thanks to Shankar, really. Shankar? He's even harder to spot than a tiger! <laughs> Come on. Well, I'm not sure... Come on, chop, chop! Just pull me out and we'll be on our way! Well, I do need a coach. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daxter. I do need a coach, but I need one I can actually pull. I can be useful, honestly. I just need some new wheels. Any kind of wheels. I'm not fussy. Speedy racing wheels. Whee! Monster truck wheels. Ha ha! Caterpillar trucks. I can go anywhere. <sighs> Duck felt bad about leaving his new friend, but Dexter's wheels wouldn't work. So what could Duck do? Duck, where are you going? Thomas told me you were collecting the children from school today. Sorry, Daisy. I wanted to, but I can't find a working coach. I'm afraid I won't be able to help with the school run after all. Well, I can't do it. And it could be months before that school gets repaired. And that's when Duck had an idea. Repaired? What did Reg say again? Repair, recycle, Reuse! Excuse me, Doc? All this time I've been looking for a coach, but well, that's not really the problem at all. Bye, Daisy! Did you find yourself a coach to pick up the children, Doc? Haha, 
actually, I found something even better. <laughs> Doc! Hello, Daxter. Meet Judy and Jerome. Hello there, Dexter. We've come to get you out of here. You mean I'll soon be back on my wheels? Uh, not exactly. But you are going to be really useful. <laughs> Thank you, Duck. It's lovely to be really useful again. Like I always say, Dexter, there are two ways of... <laughs> so although Dexter's wheels couldn't be repaired, he could be reused as a score. <laughs> The animals are okay. <gasps> Thomas! What on earth does he have in those cars? <gasps> it's the animals from the animal park. They're coming to stay. Animals? Coming to stay? This is an emergency, Gordon. These animals are freezing and they need looking after. Our boilers will keep them warm. But... It'll be like living in a zoo. Oh, the indignity. It's my Christmas wish come true. Stop packing my paintwork, you oversized chicken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone. It stopped snowing and all the lines have been cleared. What? Merry Christmas, sir. I couldn't make it to the steamworks, so I had to bring the animals back here. But some of us are not very happy about it, sir. They're smelly and noisy, and that ostrich won't leave me alone. Don't worry, James. The new boiler arrived this morning. Uh, James, what's that under your smoke box? The ostrich. She's laid an egg. And I'm afraid it'll have to stay there till it hatches. What? Now I'm babysitting birds? No! Calm down, James. It's Christmas, remember? A season of goodwill to everyone. <gasps> Even ostriches! Oh, my hat! <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever helped to look after an animal? Maybe you have a pet at home or at school in your classroom. Luke once found a little deer who was scared by all the noise at the quarry, and he brought it to a place that was safe and quiet. One winter, I brought some animals to Titmouth Sheds to keep warm. All the engines helped. Even James warmed to the idea. Here, chicky, chicky, chick. Come to Uncle James. Oh, how cute. Oh, 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 oh. Faster, Thomas! Faster! Once, I went so fast that I flew way up into the sky, as high as the moon. Go, Thomas! You're not the world! It doesn't sound very believable. Are you sure that's what happened, Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> you made that up. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't quite like that, but it felt like it. One thing's for sure, where I come from, I'm the number one tank engine. But I'm the number one tank engine. It's right here, on the side of my tank. That's a number one. That's how we write the number one in China. Only we don't call it a one. We call it E. My name is Hong Mei, by the way. 
Oh, my name's Thomas. I'll race you to the next station. Hey, come back here. Hanmei was fun. She liked racing, and racing was something I knew all about. Stop for a silly red signal. Here in China, red is the color for good luck. But it wasn't very lucky for you just now. <laughs> no, it wasn't. But I bet I can beat you if we race again. Okay, Thomas, you're on. Three, two, one. Kaisi. Huh? Kaisi means, means start, start Thomas. Thomas. Oh. I can't keep up with Han Mei. Don't worry, Thomas. We know a shortcut. Just take this next turn. <laughs> 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 